I have 13 of them. And, and when you get the stent operation, it's not like your normal operation. You're actually awake. You're actually looking up at your very own heart. But you're in some really good shape. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first time. Hey, Doug, is that my heart up there? Yes, Mr. Siegel. Hey, Doug. Valentine's Day is coming up. I love my heart. Yes, Mr. C. Doug, I, I've been reading the literature, and in the Guinness Book of World Records, it says that the most dense in one day is seven. Now, I've been watching you for about an hour now, and you've been doing good, good work. If my calculations are correct, you put in six. Now, Doc, there's lots and lots of arteries. Could you just put in one more stent? I could tie the world record. I could be the battery bonds of stents without the steroids, or you could give me steroids. Nurse! <laughs> yeah, um, but the inevitable happened. After seven years of a blockage here, stent there, blockage there, stent here, um, I had a heart attack. Um, I didn't know I had a heart attack. It was. You know, I was just a little bit out of breath, and you know, a lot of times I was, you know, had some symptoms about 20 times. Went to the hospital, made some new friends, but um, this time I, you know, I, was, I, I went home, took a nap for about five hours, drove myself to the emergency room, and went through one blood test, two blood tests, and then the the, the PA comes out and says, "Mr. Siegel, I'm afraid you've had a heart attack, but don't worry, it was a mild heart attack. It was a heart event." I said, no, 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 the hard walk is a heart event. The hard ball is a heart event. <laughs> mild heart attack. Who are they kidding? You know, um, they got, it was so mild that they convinced me to do um, open heart surgery, but not your average everyday bypass. No, not a double, not a triple. David Letterman had quadruple bypass, but mine wasn't quite that mild. I had quintuple bypass, uh, five arteries, and... Um, Mild heart attack. Uh, you know, David Letterman is, is a lot uh, is a lot funnier than I am, but I got a beetle bypass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, McDonald's came out with a new version of, of the Big Mac last year. Um, the, the larger Big Macs and the smaller Big Macs. Um, the smaller Big Macs were the, the little Big Mac, the mini Mac, or as I like to refer to them, the diet Big Mac. So it got me to thinking. When a doctor sitting across the, uh, in, in his office looking at me and he says, Mr. Siegel, it seems that in May 2015 you had a mild heart attack. It would be the same as me hanging out at McDonald's waiting for, some, waiting for somebody to, 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 buy a, to buy a little Big Mac and, uh, and, uh, and, and coming over to him and say, Sir, it seems that you're eating a diet Big Mac. <laughs> The beauty of that analogy, diet Big Mac, mild heart attack, is one causes the other. <laughs> but I'm still here, and uh, still kicking, and I went through all these weeks of prostate cancer, and I'm a new man. So, at least the radiation. Anyway. Um, but, um, so I've been doing a lot of dating, and doing a lot of internet dating, and, um, and uh, it, it, it hasn't really, it worked out, but it's really good for my comedy act. Um, <laughs> I went out with this therapist. If you're not a therapist, do not. Do not date a therapist. Because every time you say something, they say, yes, but what you really mean is... <laughs> I had to cut it off. Every time we make love, she'd go in the back room and write a note in my chart. <laughs> Uh, I went out with this, um, I went out with this, uh, Jewish American princess. Yeah, things got really serious. One, one day she called up her parents and said, Mom, Dad, I'm going to marry Rich. Then she found out that was just my name. <laughs> I had an imaginary girlfriend for about a year. Yeah, we had a great sex life pretty much every night, you know, as most men, especially with prostate thing, and get, um, do, I, I got up in the middle of the night and... I know that she wasn't there. <laughs> but I just figured she left in the middle of the night after sex, like most men do. I went out with this biology teacher, and over brunch, we discussed the sex life of slugs. Now, I always thought slugs were one of God's in, in, 
the ugliest creatures, but oh, wow. apparently slugs don't think so. Because apparently slugs do it. When we're not talking, female slug drops the egg and the male slug sleeks over there and eight hours later picks up the egg. Mm. Slugs go at it. They have slug sex fests. It, it's unbelievable. A slug will literally, literally starve to death while having sex. Slugs choose sex over food. Why can't I find a woman like that? <laughs> Apparently, according to the biology teacher, slugs are hermaphrodites. They have male and female sex organs. They need no one. But still, slugs go on the prowl for other slugs. So I asked the biology teacher, since slugs can satisfy themselves, what is it about a slug that another slug finds sexy? And she couldn't answer that question. So I couldn't go out with her anymore. <laughs> but when you're, when you're, um, when you're, somebody breaks up with you on the internet, um, you know, at least for me, they always say the same thing. Richard, you're the most interesting man I've ever met. <laughs> Out there for you is the one. <laughs> me and you, we, we get along really well, but we just don't have this connection. We, we don't have the chemistry. I just think that in the long run, you and I are not the ultimate perfect Attention, internet shoppers. <laughs> News flash. There is no ultimate perfect match. <laughs> Cause if there was one, I'd still be dating her and she wouldn't be engaged to someone else. <laughs> I went out with this woman for three years in between her other boyfriends. <laughs> and we had more in common than identical twins. She was perfectly my type. Long, flowing blonde hair, hot body, pretty face, smart, funny, rich. I was perfectly her type. Younger and good in bed. <laughs> we agreed on virtually everything. Politics, religion. We had his and her CPAP machines. <laughs> when you're sleeping with someone on a regular basis, it's a lot cooler if they have sleep apnea too. And it can be kind of hot. Honey, you take my breath away. <laughs> can I have some oxygen? <laughs> my hose broke. Can you fix my hose? <laughs> but, but we had weird things in common. It was as if... It was as if we grew up in an alternate parallel universe and then we just randomly met in our things. We both had sons named Charlie. We both spent the first years of our marriage in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We were both Capricorns with weird birthdays. I was born on Christmas, she was born on New Year's, both wanted to dance. We were both ADHD. We wake up in the morning and have our morning Adderall, bagel, coffee. I'd walk her to her car, she'd forget where she parked. <laughs> we'd find her car, we'd look for the keys. I'd kiss her goodbye, she'd run off to work, she'd come back and make her gourmet meal, we'd make love, we'd enjoy our CPAP machines. <laughs> we'd wake up in the morning or the middle of the night and do it all over again. <laughs> what could be better than that? We had too much in common. We both liked women. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>